Hi everyone with Kelvin here. So let's discuss about weekly contest 157 fourth question count vowel permutation So we are given n n is the length of the string that we want to form and The string can be formed only by vowel letter and there are five rules here Which um, saying about if our last character is a and the next character we can type is only e and if the last character is e we can only type either a or i if it's an i we can type any character other than i and if it's an o we can type an i or u and if it's a u and we can uh, follow it only by an a and after the uh, and we form the character uh, the length of n for the string so the question is how many unique string we can form and the number can be very large so they ask us to modulo it with this number so the length of the string itself is 20,000 so yeah so take a look on the first example um, if the n is 1 so yeah we just type out the vowel itself since the length is only 1 and when the length is 2 so we can see the rules if um, first we type an a so the next um, character we can only type an e and when we type an e first the next character can be an a or i right a or i so if the first character is i we can type uh, all vowel character except i so there are four combination of it and if it's an o we can follow it by either an i or u and if it's an u we can only follow it by an a so in total there are uh, 10 possible um, string can be formed with the length of two and when the length is five they are telling us uh, the answer is 68 so how are we going to solve this question so yeah um, this question is a DP question so yeah we know the case that um, if the length is one and with certain character um, the, the, the answer is one so for example n of one um, and it with it and with a character a the answer is one so yeah and if you see the solve so there are the rules um, speci uh, mentioned in the question so if the character is a what is the next character possible so we try to do a recursion here so um, yeah when the n is equals to one we return a one because that is the base case right so because um, this um, recursion will have a lot of repetition of the n and c so we catch the n and c for the dp so with the certain length left and we want a certain character we put the how, how many possible combination are there uh, on the first time visit so on the next visit we just check if our catch contain that um, n and c we return it immediately without uh, performing the recursion again so yeah and at the end so we solve all the uh, the length of n and with uh, those five vowels and then add it up and then that will be the our answer so yeah that's it Thank you for watching. See you on the next weekly contest.